Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today what we're going to be doing is making another zone in our game. Uh, I don't even know how many updates worth of content the game already has, but uh, yeah, we're going to keep grinding it out. Today we're going to be doing an electricity zone, alright? We got these little shock decals on the ground. Well, it's a texture, not a decal. And I have these two shock particles, which uh, I can, you know, shrink and make them look really, really cool. I just have them as big boxes for easier selection, but uh, I'm really excited about these. And then this one, I mean, it's kind of just, just a little something for some variation. Now, there's not too many ideas that come to mind for electricity, but I can build, like, one of each type of battery and just kind of see where we go from there. So let's hop on into Blender and, uh... I don't know. I'll show you guys all the batteries. Battery one is done. I call it the Dura Not Cell, so I don't get sued. Guys, battery number two is done. It's very, uh, very Durselden. Yep, there you go. Durselden. That's, that's the one. <laughs> all right, guys, we've got two normal batteries and two car batteries. A little, uh, different colors here because I just thought everything was turning out too dark, so I added some light grays. And uh, there we go, let's bring these into studio and start building an actual, like, big electric zone. Particles are really gonna have to save me on this one. I have no idea how this is about to look. Alright, welcome to studio, and here is our batteries. First things first, I'm thinking these ones, uh, let me just duplicate it first, so I have like a normal size. I wanna scale this way up, flip it a little bit. I did have some pretty soft gradients on these, which I really, really like. Ooh! I kind of like how that goes with the hill, actually. Let me let me try to uh, move that down some. It is going to block. Ooh, it doesn't. From over on this side, it looks all right. So, ooh, I also need to move all these batteries to stay organized into, uh, oh gosh, zone world two, zone 14, I think. Is this zone 14? Yes, we did it. <laughs> and I'm going to move one of these to the other side as well, just so it's matching. Ooh, wait, this is like, hold up, hold up, guys. Why is this? Okay, so this needs to go like way off here. And I think, hmm, I think I'm gonna bring this line forward a bit so it matches the other one. Uh, I just want them to look like, you know, symmetrical, but also nice and random, <laughs> which doesn't really make the most sense, but hey, it is what it is. Gonna move these just forward a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that still looks all right. All right, cool. Now, I want to take these batteries, do Shift D, and get a straighter one, put them towards the end. We're going to do Control L to switch how we're moving things. Uh, there's local and global just by doing Control L, uh, Shift D, or it's Control D, my bad. I'm still using uh, Blender, uh, Blender hotkeys when I'm talking. So there we go. This is how we're going to board off everything. I think the car batteries, I just noticed the, the ground's actually yellow, so we probably won't have too many uses for this one but we could duplicate this one rotate it make it pretty big like i feel like this is like the centerpiece Ooh, i got a cool little idea i think guys so check it out let's move this back fill in the extra space with these all right i have i have a cool idea i think here we go guys we're gonna fill in this extra space so just have a little something like this we'll move it back scoot it down a little bit and then one more uh it'll be a little bit lower and maybe forward a bit just so it, it kind of looks cool probably a little more over as well then we can move the big battery over now we can have these let's do Control d put another one on the other side so we have something like this a nice little spacer and then another battery and we're just kind of flipping what we just did guys and i think it should look pretty cool so Control d rotate rotate bring them on over here and now to make this fit perfectly with the side I am just gonna kind of scale everything up, which, uh, definitely a lazy way to do it, but, hey, I think it looks alright. We could probably scale a bit down on this side as well. So just like that, guys, we have our border. Let me duplicate this, rotate it twice, and bring it to the other side. I need to figure out what exactly I want to do, because this, this is too plain at the moment, right? Like, eh, it's cool, but it's not. In fact, is this zone gonna have anything? What is this, zone 14, I think? Okay, so I just looked at the plans, and this zone will have something. And I think I want to put it on this side. So we're going to remove all of this stuff, just like that. Going to get another one of these batteries, turn it a little sideways, and try to uh, work our way into a, a subsection of this zone, if that makes sense. So we'll go like this, Control-D. 
I'm gonna rotate that one. Little something like that. That is too much rotation on this end though. All right, so something like this, guys. The big car batteries are like, they're cool, but they're just like a weird amount of space they take up. All right, so this will be a side zone that we could go into. I'll go ahead and duplicate this piece of ground, move it over a little bit and bring this, whoops, bring this back and scoot it in. I do feel like this could be a little bigger of an opening. So I'm gonna delete this one and move this back. So we got something more like that. In fact, I don't think we should do the, the big car battery on that side because I want this to be like a decently sized opening. Something like that, guys. And then we could definitely take these batteries, duplicate those. Perfect. The particles and lighting is going to have to be what saves this zone. I just don't know how much stuff you can really do for an electricity zone. But hey, we're winning some and we're losing some. So we have this kind of a vibe now, which looks pretty cool. I don't know if that needs to be like... I feel like that should be back here more so it doesn't feel like it's sticking out crazy now if we're coming into this zone yeah that definitely works a lot better let's switch out this battery with the yellow one that we have make that huge as well all right something like that works well for me and then of course scoot it back a little bit all right so it's just so dark i feel like i'm gonna use this battery twice <laughs> i just feel like the other one is too dark so twice it is guys something like that Maybe I can like make it halfway in the ground, turn it a little bit. Ooh, that actually looks a bit cooler, I think, than just a straight up battery. Let's kind of rotate this one a little bit, drag that down. Not as much, but just, you know, a little bit of stuff. Hmm, definitely looks pretty dope. All right, let's move this over some. Yo, this it looks a lot better now than it, than it did beforehand. We could delete all this stuff because we have the assets sting around. Uh, let me think of some ideas and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so I love the particle on these. It is a bit exaggerated, but I feel like it needs to be in uh, games like this that you're really trying to like have eye-catching stuff. Over here, definitely, I need to figure out a way to add details. So what I think I'm gonna do is make a 3D model of a lightning bolt, and I could put like different colored ones on this stuff. I think that would help a lot for uh, just detail-wise, so it's not just like black walls. Okay, guys, so here's what we did, all right? I found this, this thing right here, the zzzzt, zzzzt, I found it in the toolbox, uh, and this is probably a horrible idea. I'll have my scripter check out all of this stuff and probably remake it, uh, but yeah, it, it moves. So let me show you guys that in the game. I haven't actually looked at it yet, but it says it moves. So, oh yeah, that's, that's pretty hard to look at. I got a feeling kids will love it, but it's, <laughs> it's definitely a little extra. Anyways, I think this zone's pretty much done, especially will look a lot better with a different sky guys. So let me go to toolbox. I'm just going to go to like a, a night sky. We'll go night, there we go. And uh, I'll just kind of put maybe this one. Okay, this skybox first off looks awesome. And yeah, it definitely looks a lot cooler in the zone. I'd be switching the ambient and stuff as well, just to make it all fit well together. But that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, later.